Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. I want to answer a question that I got recently and that comes up quite often. Do you need a feature file for each user story if you're using Cucumber and trying to do BDD? The answer is no, you don't. You see, the idea of a feature file is that it is what we call living documentation. It documents a feature. Now, a user story is not a feature. A user story is a slice of value. It's a piece of work. It's a way of planning your how you build your software. And you accumulate user stories that contribute to a feature. You've got your feature over here. And as you build out your feature, you do that by contributing user stories. Now, the trick is one user story, as you learn, may contradict another user story or it may change the requirements that you just, you thought were true in a previous user story. So if that happens, if you have separate feature files for your user stories, it becomes very hard to maintain. So that's why we have a single feature file for a feature, a piece of functionality that you're going to eventually deliver and your user stories contribute into that feature. And that way, you curate your user stories. You don't just add them together. You create, you build up a documentation, a living documentation, all about your feature that describes what your feature does. Your user stories feed into that. They're not separate things. So I hope that clarifies that particular question. Thanks for listening, folks.